We are now on day two of the Iowa State Fair, and now some of the bigger named presidential hopefuls are arriving in the state looking to win votes. News 3 Washington News Bureau correspondent Brendan Cullerton is speaking with candidates at the fair. He joins us now. So, Brendan, what are candidates doing today? Well, Alex, you mentioned some of the big names. Uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis arriving in Iowa now. He is holding events across the state, uh, western portion of the state. We're kind of in the middle of the state here in Des Moines. Former Vice President Mike Pence, he's holding events across the state. But today, uh, at the actual fair, it's kind of an opportunity for some of the lesser-known candidates to make a name for themselves. There's this thing called the soapbox. Uh, it's very much a literal soapbox. Candidates get on it, and they talk to voters. And some of the candidates kind of behind in the polls, behind those big names like your Pence's, like DeSantis and Trump, who's holding a rally here tomorrow, they're trying to spread their message to voters and try and make it on that Republican debate stage. Yeah, we'll talk about uh, the former president here in just a moment. But that first Republican debate, it is now less than two weeks away. How are candidates at the fair trying to qualify for that stage? Well, the key thing here is there are two components of qualifying. They need 40,000 donors, and they need to be polling at at least 1% in either three national polls or early state polls. One of those early states is Iowa. So if they can get a head start in those Iowa polls, that can help them qualify. I'll give an example. Um, we just spoke to Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, who hit that 1%, that coveted 1%, in an Iowa poll, now he just needs to shore up those numbers in a couple of other polls by getting his message out at events like this, and then they can make it onto that debate stage in 12 days. We know Mike Pence was heckled yesterday. Have any other candidates gotten some negative responses from the crowd? Not as much today, and I kind of want to zero in on that, that Pence heckling. He was called a traitor. Um, Partially, but he was called a traitor by a Christian who said he's not a real Christian. But I think it's important to note, with Trump coming here, the two have really been at odds. Uh, Mike Pence kind of is in the crosshairs of Trump supporters over his reluctance to kind of grant the president an additional term back in 2020. People still hold that against him. That is who they're heckling because he has drawn the ire of President Trump. There's still a lot of Trump supporters here. I've been talking to the fairgoers. A lot of them say Trump's still their guy. So uh, Pence is the enemy to some of those voters, and he drew that uh, heckling. Haven't seen as much of that here today with some of the lesser-known candidates. Yeah, you mentioned that former President Donald Trump is going to be there tomorrow. Um, he's going to be holding that rally. How have uh, some of the other candidates reacted to uh, him and everything that he brings to the Iowa State Fair? Well, it's really spanned the entire spectrum. About 20 minutes before we started talking, I interviewed Larry Elder, who is running for president. He says his first move as president would be to pardon Donald Trump. So that's one end of the spectrum. The other end is we spoke to former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, who believes it's selfish of Trump to even remain in this race with all these legal issues swirling around him. Um, but then you have people saying, you know, we think that Trump did some things wrong, but at the same time, they believe that the Department of Justice is being weaponized against him. So they are are not all saying the same thing when it comes to the former president. Any other candidates that have been there and the message that they're uh, saying to, to voters? I'll give one uh, kind of fun example. We interviewed uh, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. Uh, he is not one of the highest polling candidates, but he has made it to that debate stage. He's one of just eight candidates. And one trick that he pulled is because there needs to be a minimum amount of donors, he decided, he is a very wealthy man, to give people $20 gift cards if they make a $1 donation. So people are doing all sorts of things to make it onto that debate stage. That was more of the, one, more of the funnier ones we heard. Uh, well, we hope you stay uh, cool and uh, hydrated up there in Iowa, and uh, we know that things are only going to heat up from here. So, uh, Brandon Cullerton, thank you so much for, for your time today. Thanks, Alex.